I am so excited. <laughs> Unable to contain their excitement, there we go. Timbers fans line up outside Providence Park 24 hours before Saturday night's home opener. Hey, we're so excited because we came off some wins going into our new home game. Yes, we got this. Fans have been waiting a long time for this match. The Timbers open the season with a bunch of games on the road. Your whole world's off. It's just off. So construction crews could wrap up the stadium remodel. Providence Park will now seat 25,000 passionate fans. It'll be amazing. I am wondering how loud it's really going to be. Because if you go into the stadium, there's no place except for straight up can the noise go. Turns out there will be a lot of noise in downtown Portland Saturday night. The Starlight Parade is slated to start around 8.30. Check out the route. Eastbound on Burnside, then southbound on 4th, before snaking its way back to Lincoln High School. But it's a fun, perfect storm. Roberta Altstadt of TriMet says they'll be running nearly all of their trains and buses. They really have no choice if they want to accommodate the hundreds of thousands of parade goers and soccer fans expected downtown Saturday. TriMet is the way to go because parking, congestion downtown, nobody wants to deal with that. They just want to have fun. No doubt it'll be a night to remember, especially if the Timbers can knock off Los Angeles in their refurbished stadium. Amazing! Our new stadium? Oh my god. Yeah. And can you feel the energy? Everybody's so, so pumped. All right, so in addition to that soccer match and the parade, there's also the Starlight Run. That starts at 7 o'clock. So, again, give yourself plenty of time to get downtown and pack your patience to get out of town.